So, if you don't know, Samsung used to use two different chipsets for its Galaxy S flagship series. In the US, Canada, and China, the phones will be powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon chips. Everywhere else, the Samsung's own Exynos chipsets. But then again, we know that with the S23 series, that kind of changed. It's mostly because of the Samsung and Qualcomm's deal. And that's why we have a custom variant of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 inside the Galaxy S23 series. But here's the thing, that doesn't mean there is not going to be any Exynos chips. Even Exynos 2400 is going to be a massively powerful chip. You can check out my recent video on that. But as I said in the video, there is very little chance that Samsung will actually use Exynos chips again in their flagship series devices. And that's not happening. And it's mostly because of the deal as I mentioned. But this video will give you a good idea of what the next generation Samsung Galaxy phones chipsets will be like, kind of, because they're going to be custom variant again. Well, one tipster predicts that Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 will have a OnePlus 5 Plus 2 setup with a powerful Cortex X4 core running at 3.2 GHz as the prime core, 5 Cortex A720 cores at 3 GHz for performance, and 2 Cortex A520 cores at 2 GHz for just efficient tasks. According to the same tipster, the chip will also have the Adreno 750 GPU, which is quite a bit better than the 740 GPU of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. And not just that, it will also have Snapdragon X75 5G modem with about 20% boost in energy savings. But that's not where it ends though. It also supports LPDDR5 RAM with Universal Flash Storage or UFS 4.1 support. Now we already know that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 will be stronger than the 8 Gen 2 definitely. Now Digital Chat Station also says that the 750 GPU will be 50% better than the 740 GPU in the S23 lineup. So you get it right? It's going to be amazing. The core configuration of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is still a debated topic. Because one they claim that it will have 8 cores, 1 plus 5 plus 2 arrangement, while another one split it into 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 layout. So one they can say that the performance cores, the Cortex A70 cores, will all performing the same way. But the other leaker said that it will actually vary in speed and cache. So maybe three A720 cores will run at higher frequency than the other two. So that's the thing. Which is also the case for the rumored 10 core Exynos 2400 SoC. Insane. The digital chat station actually says that there is one prototype of Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 that has two Cortex X4 cores along with four Cortex A720 cores and two Cortex A520 cores. And this is interesting because Qualcomm has probably never used two prime cores in one CPU. But then again, having two prime cores in one SoC can also create a lot more heat. So smartphone makers will have to introduce better cooling systems to fight against that. That said, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, that specific one, could also be made for tablets only. Or it could simply be a prototype that will never see the light of the day. Another tipster says that Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is actually going to get around 6,500 points in Geekbench multi-core test, almost 20% higher than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, and the single core performance is almost going to be 1,800 points, matching Apple's current lineup, and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, codenamed SM8750, will have 8-core chip with a setup that includes two Nuvia Phonics or Orion performance cores and six Nuvia Phonics or Orion M efficiency cores. Now, I know this is confusing, but these are new CPU cores that are developed by Qualcomm. Now, this one's Geekbench 5 score is estimated at 2070 in single core and 9100 multi core. Now, this is likely because new vehicles are built from the scratch and they are totally different, and the whole AP is actually made on TSMC's N3E node. I mean, we will get to know more about them in the future. So, yeah, definitely, it would be hella interesting to see what Qualcomm brings to the table to compete with Apple's own chipsets, like A series ones as well as the M series ones. We will see. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And yes, if you want, you can get some crazy cool wallpapers up on my website, a link down below. Until the next one, bye and take care.